Welcome back to Mobility Now. Enhancing our bicycle network will provide transportation options while improving public health and creating economic opportunities. What is it going to take to build the necessary infrastructure to do that? Someone who can help us answer that question is Ana Ramirez from the Texas Department of Transportation. Ana, welcome to Mobility Now. Thanks for having me. Now, TxDOT has a lot of responsibilities in transportation, what with our huge roadway network and all, but what is it going to take to build a transportation network where walking and bicycling can actually be uh, convenient alternatives for commuting? One of the things uh, to consider when thinking about a pedestrian and bicycle network is to really think about connectivity. Right. Connecting where people live to where people work, where they shop, and also to other activity and cultural centers. Connecting um, those segments of pedestrian and bicycle facilities that may have some discontinuities and really thinking about a continuous network. Right. One of the things it's going to take is for local agencies to think creatively about funding sources. Right. Beyond federal and state funding, thinking about uh, public and private partnerships. Right. Well, you know, we're seeing so much building in this area right now, it seems like we ought to be able to harness some of that energy with all the private sector development going on, but it is going to take more coordination. Tell me about some of the things that TxDOT is doing to help with the, making those connections better. Well, uh, it is, uh, within TxDOT, every roadway construction or roadway improvement, uh, TxDOT always considers pedestrian and bicycle facilities. Right. TxDOT is also a uh, liaison between the federal and local governments. Right. We not only uh, oversee, uh, plan, review, and have construction oversight over projects that have been funded with federal funds, but uh, we facilitate the implementation of pedestrian and bicycle projects by guiding local entities in the uh, process of uh, being able to uh, apply for federal and state funding as well as advice on design standards right. during the uh, pr scoping, project development, and project conception phases. What is driving all this new interest in, in bikes and, and walkers at TxDOT? You know, Jeff, there are several drivers. I think overall we can think about uh, the Houston economy and we can think about uh, job growth. It attracts uh, people from really across the country, from different parts of the world. Uh, especially young, skilled uh, workforce. The Houston area has to start thinking about addressing quality of life issues. Right. And uh, part of that is because we want to keep Houston competitive and we want to keep uh, the environment, the business environment in Houston competitive by really uh, harnessing and improving our quality of life to keep people coming to Houston for job opportunities, but also wanting to remain. Right. And an important, that, an important part of that is creating bicycle and pedestrian facilities. Right. The reason for that is that as we create more bicycle and pedestrian facilities, we have greater access to parks, uh, to recreation. You have improvement in health uh, because you have increased physical activity, reduction in congestion. Uh, you also have um, reduction in air pollution. Right. Another driver has been really uh, the increased interest in uh, mixed development. Mm -hmm. For example, mixed development such as the one you might find in city center, right. where you have commercial and urban development or residential development combined. Once those things are closer together, it's a lot easier to think about walking or bicycling than when they're all separated out uh, on, on a long roadway, for that example. That is correct. Proximity is going to uh, create ease in bicycling and walking to everyday facilities. Right. There's also been increased interest in residential development with greater access to pedestrian and bicycle facilities. Mm -hmm. For instance, the woodlands. We have, uh, they have over 200 hike, uh, miles of hike and bike trails. And that, you know, I think in terms of pedestrian and bicycle facilities, it's become a real catalyst for economic and uh, urban development. Tell me about the project uh, since you've been at TxDOT, uh, bicycling project uh, that you're the most excited about. Well, uh, I find that linking uh, walking and uh, cycling to other modes of transportation, for instance, transit to uh, 
uh, linking it to bus stops right. or to park and rides is especially exciting. Mm -hmm. Making those connections really addresses the first and last mile of a trip right. for people using a public transit. So it's just really trying to connect the community to the park and ride and make those uh, intermodal, inter, you know, those interconnections to promote uh, greater convenience uh, for people in trying to take alternative transportation modes. You know, sometimes uh, in transportation planning we talk about, you know, multimodal planning, but really that just means, you know, how do you get from your house, you know, on your bike to a bus, to your office and then into the office. You know, it's, it's giving people those connections on their trip. And, and that's very exciting to see that that's a focus of what Textile's doing right now. I think you're right, Jeff, because, uh, you know, some people may decide to uh, take, to cycle to access a park and ride. Some right. people may decide to take the bike on the bus, on the transit system. Right. To, to make it more convenient to use alternative transportation modes. Juana, any other tips you'd have for somebody who may be considering bicycling to work? Well, I think the first thing is to do it safely. Uh, one of the main things would be first, plan out your route. Uh, you might wanna look online, uh, the Houston Galveston Area Council, they have uh, the regional bikeway viewer. After you planned out your route, you might wanna to have a practice run during the weekend identify a couple of hotspots you might want to avoid, feel, uh, gauge how long it takes, gauge how confident you feel. If you haven't cycled in a while, you should definitely go and have a tune-up, check your chain, check your, uh, your brakes, uh, make sure to have a helmet, make sure to have uh, some uh, white lights in front, red light in the back, take some water, enjoy your ride. Well, thank you, Anna, for joining us today. That thank was some great information. Nice being here. When we come back, how a local government is building a bike-friendly network for its residents.